Greetings, fellow citizens. This is Citizen Kong with a movie review. Excuse me. <clears throat> I should have got that over with before I started taping or filming or whatever. You know, everything's digital now. There's no tape or film. What do we say now? Record. Yeah, before I started recording. I'm beca I've become a throat clearer. I'm sorry. I'm like my old man was. <laughs> a throat clearer. <laughs> I should see a doctor. Anyway. Yeah. With another movie review, High Tension. This is a French film recommended by Nate Palm Blute. Uh, also, I wanted to get this right, called Oot Tanchon. <laughs> Oot Tanchon. That's how you say High Tension in French. For anybody that actually speaks French, I apologize. Well, as Nate Palm described it, I think he said it was a white knuckle all the way through. And it was a white knuckle ride, I'd have to say. Um, you know, the other, the other French film, usually, okay, granted, I'll be the first to say, a lot of European films, the, the pacing is much slower than American films. And, uh, but still, there's so many good films. And if you can just sit back and relax and just, and just draw it in, you know, and give it a chance. For, so for, for those of you that don't want to sit through a European film, um, I, I, you know, I have to add this to the review that I would say I never watched uh, during my teens and stuff. The only, I rarely watched anything with subtitles. I don't think so. I, I, the, only, the first time I ever sa actually sat through a foreign film was my brother... Uh, brought home a videotape, you know, the old VHS of uh, My Life as a Dog, if I remember the, the title correctly. And uh, I watched it, and I said, wow, so this is, this is the whole, you know, foreign film thing. And I really, I really enjoyed it. Um, so since then, I've tried to keep an open mind. Again, high tension is not typical, though, of, of what I would say most European films are like. It is... And I think European films are changing. And I don't know. I've never seen a lot of them. I just know those art house films that used to come over uh, to the U.S. Like uh, I watched I Am Curious Yellow, which was enjoyable. But boy, boy, is it slow, you know. And uh, Solaris, a Russian film, which doesn't qualify as, as European. Boy, I'm, I'm way off topic, am I? That was tremendously slow. It was like pulling teeth. But I did watch it in bits, and uh, I, I do enjoy saying that I, I enjoyed Solaris. I'm really, really getting off the, the, the path here, aren't I? High tension. Yes. And I want to add one more thing. I think European films are changing. They're being influenced by American cinema. When I saw La, La Femme Nikita, if I got the uh, pronunciation right, which was later remade as an American film, which I forgot what it was called, but it wasn't as good as the French version. The French version was action-packed. I mean, it moved quick, and there was lots of, uh, lots of action, lots of gunfire. And uh, so I, I think, can I be wrong, but has American movies influenced European film uh, cinema? I, I would think so. So, uh, high tension. Yes, yes. Oh, very graphic violence. Very graphic. And, uh, and it does, it does, once things get going, it moves at a, at a pretty quick pace and has you, uh, like, really drawn in. One thing I want to say is, like, I wasn't paying especially close attention to the cinematography during the entire film, but I have to say it was, it was good. I didn't see any, any problems with it. Um, there was one scene where the, the two women in the film, a featured young woman, college age, are uh, driving out to the country to go to the home of uh, one of the girls, the, the, the brunette. There's a blonde and a brunette, and one who's driving in the first scene. They're going out to her, her parents' house out in the country. And there's a scene of the road that they're on, the car. It's taken, it's taken a, it's like a, a, a scenic view. And this strip of road going through uh, these low, rising hills in the sky, it was composed like a painting. It looked like a beautiful photograph, a, a beautiful painting. I mean, the composition 
And the only difference between a photograph and a painting is that that car was moving down the road. And I, you know, I, there's certain things that I will watch a film and even if I don't quite enjoy it, if I manage to sit all the way through it, there'll be one or two things that will always stick with me. And more than the violence, more than the, 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 the strange plot, is that one scene. And I thought, wow, that's beautiful. The only, the only other, the one person I would recommend if you enjoy uh, seeing a scene set up, the, the cinematography, like it's a, a piece of art, is uh, Peter Peter Greenaway Peter Greenaway Peter Greenaway films? Uh, I understood one class I took. The the teacher told me that uh, he had a background as a painter, and so you would see it in a lot of the, the shots he sets up. They are like paintings. The composition, the symmetry, um, the use of color. But I'm off topic again. High tension. There were, there were some things in it where the, one of the main characters, I'm like thinking, why, why are you doing that? Why? And it's so, it was unlike American films, you know, like, you know, like uh, uh, the, the female lead or whatever, dealing with the serial killer, the slasher, and uh, there's always like certain kind of things she's going to try, and and this doesn't work out. And some of those cliches were there, but then there were other some things. It's just the inaction of that character makes you like go, what are you doing? <laughs> Why are you choosing to do it this way? Why are you taking these actions or inactions? There is a twist in the plot. So some of these things are explained. And, uh, you know, I would love to do movie reviews the same way that as you and some friends are leaving the movie theater and you're talking to each other as you're walking out because you've all seen the film together and you're like, I can't believe this happened, I can't believe that happened and that part was so fake or this part was really good. I'd love to be able to do movie reviews like that but people don't want that because of the spoilers. <laughs> but to me that would be fun. There's only a way to do that. Maybe we could have a, a private discussion of films that we've watched together at some point on Skype or something. I don't know. But uh, I'd have to say I enjoyed it. Napalm Blue, Napalm. That was a good recommendation. Yeah, it was, uh, it was uh, a good thing to add to my pace. I kind of, uh, I was watching a whole series of slasher, serial killer type movies, and I sort of had my fill for a while. But, uh, but that, that was worth seeing. All right, this is Citizen Kong with my review of Oot Ton Chon. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs>